<laughs> Adolf Hitler, the life of Hitler. Okay, Hitler is someone who has been written about probably just about more than anybody. I think before Hitler, they said Napoleon had probably had about the most books written about him. And now there's however many Hitler books. So I'm going to go over probably the best of the Hitler, the Hitler biographies that might be worth checking out. All these books are, uh, I've got quite a few of these books to where uh, I get comments about my bookshelf, but these aren't, these aren't necessarily, um, this isn't like, this is NS literature or something. They're just, uh, biographies from scholars that we're going to go over, uh, except for, well, one of, one of them might be a little bit pro, but in general, these aren't, it's not, it's not that. Anyhow, all of these are, are very good. These are going to be the top, the top of the, the top bios. The one that isn't, there's one that won't be mentioned, and I'll, I'll I'll go over that shortly. But just to start things out, just to get into it, we'll just go right into John Tolland, Adolf Hitler. All right, the definitive, and this is the definitive biography. That's that's more or less true. I would say this one is the one that you could almost measure all the others by. And I mean, these are all going to be about, they're all going to tell the same story. I'll say John Tolland, this is a biography where because it's Hitler, I mean, you have to, at some point, if you're a scholar, you have to step back with your <laughs> subject because you can't, it can't, you don't want to have, um, Hitler is somebody who you could, you could say all, all manner of things, you know, cause who's going to, who's going to defend Hitler, but a scholar has to kind of, um, stick to the facts and that, that could go either. Either way, I, John Tolland, the thesis of this book, of his biography on, on Hitler, is that there is no thesis. Okay, John Tolland otherwise wrote, you might know him from his, his Japan book, uh, The Rise and Fall of the Japanese Empire, which is probably the best book you can read on, on that subject. Just a, a great book on uh, Japan and World War II. From that, John Tolland is someone, I mean, he speaks, he has a Japanese, he had a Japanese wife. And uh, this book, he's trying to be as objective as possible. So he's trying, he's just basically saying, I'm going to write the Hitler story and, you know, you be the judge. Here are all the facts and, and I'm not going to go into, uh, I'm not going to bother making judgment calls or, or try to, um, interpret this or that. I'm, I'm, and, and th- that's basically what this book is because of that. It can get, I, I think it, it can seem a little dry compared to the other ones that we'll go over. But I, I would say that this is the best. Um, this is probably the one where if you want a book that a lot of other people have read and then you read you're going to read just the same thing. Like you can get on the same page with everybody. It's more or less this one. Uh, although all these, like I said, all these books are going to tell about the same facts, but this is a, a book I'd highly recommend. If you just want to get familiar with the whole story, I'd, I'd say it comes off maybe a little dry, but it might be the most classic of a, of a book in itself where some people might say you have to read this one. It's the it's the seminal 
one. It's the it's the best bio in the English language or so. It, it might be the case. Um, it's not my favorite, but it might be. The, it I would I would call I would say it's fair to call this the, the definitive biography and maybe the best starting point. Or maybe the best um, starting and ending point because this will give you everything you need to know about the man. Adolf Hitler. Okay, but like I say, and it's it's not it's not like um it, it's John Tallon saying I'm just gonna he 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 really does give you the facts and this isn't like um like a David Irving thing where he's gonna say um I don't have I don't have the sources <laughs> you know I'm only gonna write if I have a source it it he goes into a uh, a uh, final solution type stuff and. Talon, I I think it's it's all here. And uh from early life to the very end and it's it's very detailed. This is a big book. These are all big books. And so it looks all right. I mean, the cover looks all right. But this next one, I'm all right, moving on. So that's a good book, John Tolland. Um, that's uh, I think what you need to know is that the Tolland is going to be the one is one where the author definitely kind of tries to sit back and just let the tale tell itself, and he's not really he just leaves it as, as that. So. You make the you make the call if that's what you like. This next one is a little bit different. It's it's uh Yochim Yochim Fest. Hitler. This is this is the coolest looking one. It has a really cool cover. And <laughs> it looks kinda wild on on your bookshelf. Hitler. And this one, I'd say, this is by a German author. He's a uh, he. He's like a he, Yochim Fest. He prefers to be called Yoshin. No, I'm just. Kidding. <laughs> but he's a German, and he's he's like a, a German Catholic. Uh, he's like a conservative Catholic. Is is like his uh, the author, and this is. A translation the, this is like an evil genius uh is the thesis of this of this book like the central the central thing in this book um and he what he he's going in fast is basically that hitler is like this trickster he seems like like this like tr trickster god or something in this book like a evil he's an evil genius and part of his part of his thing is that um for fast Hitler is someone who part of his genius is that he can see he like sees through everything and so he knows how who the phonies are and what the weaknesses of institutions are or and it's also where he gets his strength cuz he knows how he can prop himself up in similar ways like theatrical or or so on but with fast everything seems to be like a trick of sorts and it it is interesting what he goes into even um i mean he 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 in a way talks up hitler quite a bit like he's someone with like this military mastermind and he knows you know he figures out all this um stuff with modern warfare and his idea he's quick to admit that a lot of hitler's ideas how effective they are and how um like some of the stuff would become like legendary or iconic and, and he he'll say this is stuff that hitler came up with that that really affected his age and so but what he's saying is that like it seems like he he'd say this is someone who doesn't really believe anything at it. Like everything's a trick. But you wonder why? I kind of wonder why he 
he's I still wonder why he's tricking everybody like he's he's tricking everyone into the Holocaust, but why does he care so much about um like killing all these people if he if he is basically a nihilistic he's basically a nihilistic kind of person and so if he does something that's good for germany or something it's it's he's lulling germany into into like um you know whatever like a false sense of security or he's getting him hyped up or he's getting him so that he can do another thing but it doesn't seem like he ever you know like nothing um matters that much to him even maybe anti-semitism isn't like according to fast it's not like it really means something to him because it seems like nothing nothing like me <laughs> means anything to the the fast to the fast hitler um Anyhow, this is an excellent book. It has all the same. This might even be a, a, it might be a bigger book because of maybe some of that. But it, it's it's almost funner to read. This is a German. This is a translation. So, Holland is writing in English, and this is a German. This is translated, but it it sounds good, and. All the same facts are there. It's a very detailed book. You can really get into any of um anything you want from the life of Hitler is going to be in this book. This is the also the first one I read. And I I read this cuz I don't know, but probably it, it has a, a cool cover that you could find in a used bookstore. It's cheap. And I I thought it was really interesting. Like it it has it has all the same facts. If you get that one or this one, you're gonna learn the same stuff. I'd say just the telling of the story is a, is a bit different because Fast has he has more to say himself, and he has a thesis. He has his theories and interpretations, uh, and may, maybe he's a little closer to it, being that he's like a German uh, himself. And so he has these kind of criticisms to it. I'll say he he seems he's lot, seems like a conservative Catholic kind of guy. Maybe I, I I might be I might be wrong on that, but I think I, I think that's it. I, I'm I'm pretty sure that's uh that's it. If not, let me know. But I I think uh, I, I think that's that's pretty much it. That's his perspective. That's who he is and that's why this book is that way but it, it's an excellent book there's nothing wrong with this book okay so that being said there's another maybe similar similar book to these two and i think it gets propped up as like d hitler bios or something like these two and also by ian kershaw there's another one that that book I'm not going to review because I don't have it and I never read it and I I didn't think it was I was I read some I wasn't impressed and I've been told more or less I'm not going to talk too much into it I'll just say I I'm not recommending it but I'm not I'm also not going to bash it it's not something I've read it's just something that I mean, how much of this stuff do you can you read? But I didn't read it. I didn't read it. I don't. That's the Ian Kershaw. It, he has a two volume. I think he also has a one volume. I think he has a, he, he has a lot of stuff on. But I just don't. I don't know if it would add anything. I don't know if I'd recommend his over certainly over uh, these two. Or um. But moving on. So these both of these two books are going to give you basically a complete um like all the events and all the all the characters are there everything in the life of Hitler. It's a familiar story. There's going to be the same sources are basically used. Um you you come across the same stuff a lot cuz there's however much stuff there might be one source of this or that that's particularly interesting. Um 
We didn't go over the Kershaw. The Kershaw book, I'll say, is criticized in this next book as well, which I'm, I'm going to talk about is Stolfi, a shorter book, RHS, Stolfi, Hitler, Beyond Evil and Tyranny. So Beyond Evil and Tyranny. Stolfi's book is a, it, this one's a little bit different. And he goes, he goes into the other, um, biographies in this book. He's, he's not necessarily presenting himself as like, uh, he speaks of like the great biographers of Hitler and he's not considering himself one, but th this is a book worth checking out. What Stolfi is, he's a military historian. He's a former Marine and Stolfi is what he's trying to figure out is just from Hitler's life why he made the decisions he did in particular with the war. Um so what you know you are you're studying World War II and Stolfi is saying to study World War II you have to figure out Hitler's uh why he made the decisions he did. So this book is like his complete study Stolfi's on Hitler and it can seem it can seem what he what he's he kind of does is it's not like he's justifying Hitler or something, but he is getting in he's putting himself in Hitler's shoes and trying to see things from his perspective in and a lot of it might i mean it seems the way he's writing it is like uh I mean, almost. It, it almost seems like pro, but but he he's saying it in like in just like this is an impressive guy, and basically, he's not just he's not going to stop and tell you like all the time. By the way, this is an evil guy who uh, is racist and and killed however many people. He does. He he's not going to really labor stopping and telling you that he tells you in the title this is beyond evil and tyranny so you're trying to figure out say say hitler himself from his point of view isn't thinking himself in these terms so it's it's trying to give you like um the hitler mindset the hitler where he's coming from why he came up with uh the decisions he did at certain points and uh he's analyzing his role in history and so it's a really interesting book it's it's a it's a book if you've already read uh it might be a little bit advanced then probably if you're not familiar with the events at all maybe don't read this book maybe maybe get this one or or fest book but this this might be getting into advanced hitler 101 and where <laughs> but but it also might be the the one that you might want to pick up too if you're maybe familiar with some of the stuff and maybe this is a little bit more what you're looking for and uh so on it, it it's a very different book it's a very the author is, is seems like a a good marine <laughs> and uh i i mean i i like this book quite a bit he talk he he criticizes kershaw actually quite a bit in the book and a lot of this book is he's answering kind of that biography or he's arguing different points in the book like about about hitler and his motivations and his uh psychology his politics and he, he's saying that, like, how this stuff might have made sense to to Hitler himself. Anyhow, th th this is an excellent book. It's not, it's not, it's not, an, like an apology for for anything. It, it it is. I I would say it functions best as as like a military study. Like a, it's a military history in a way. It just gets into a guy 
who's of particular importance for to the study of the spore. Okay, I, I'll get into one now that is is more it, another different one that's kind of different. If, and this one's more expansive. So all all these you could find, you could find. I mean, I, I like to go to used bookstores and, and find this stuff. And some of the stuff, the cool, but you get good prices. This one is more expensive, and it's different. But you got to talk about it. Is David Irving Hitler's War? So this will talk. This will go into. And a lot of other Hitler biographies are going to break up with like before World War II, or and then maybe there'll be a World War II volume. But Irving only really did a World War II, so he doesn't get into Hitler's childhood, or he doesn't talk about if he was already anti-Semitic in Vienna or anything like that, or he doesn't he doesn't bother asking. You know, it doesn't concern this book. It's only uh, World War II. This is published by David Irving himself. This is the edition that Irving put out. This book initially was um, something studied quite heavily. Like, it, it was like West Point had this book. I remember in the Marines, you'd find this book in the base library, an older copy. I haven't compared the editions, but I imagine they are somewhat different. This book has this book. I'm going to say it, it's, it's valuable. And I think that Irving is, um, he's not necessarily what people think. He, he is a good historian. Some of the, I would say he is pro Hitler and he is a sympathetic, I wouldn't say he's like a fascist or a Nazi, but he's like a he's like an English Tory who's sympathetic to Hitler, and it, he's but he's describing World War II from Hitler's uh, perspective, and so just the amount of detail and the sources and everything you you'd figure uh, I don't know it, just as, as a book. It's an interesting book. I I think it you do need to be a bit wary in some, just as some, just as some books might go out of control, and you know they'll they'll say because Hitler's evil we could say anything about him like uh, like it's the uh, the devil himself. But um, Irving maybe this book is a little bit hagiographic. I I would say because. I I think um like part of the it, it, part of the book is omission of maybe the war crimes of uh, like killing Jews and, and so forth. So he's not he does he does talk about it briefly, but Irving is saying that I mean he go he basically says that this is. Hitler wanted to move the Jews to Madagascar, and but then SS guys started killing the Jews, and he had no idea. This is discussed in a chapter. Um, you can compare his account of that with other other authors who I I think um, use the same sources, but maybe they they put it together a little bit differently. And I I I, I would just say that. I think this is a good book and it, it has um historical value and it it's definitely worth checking out. I do recommend this book. But I don't buy everything that Irving says. I I think that Irving is you like others have said as a military historian, he he's provided a lot of value in on the understanding of the axis. Uh, powers in World War II and Germany, and mm, uh, like I mean, others might say that because you know, you can't trust a single word, like Richard Evans. I think that goes too far. Everyone's wrong sometimes, but Irving, for the most part, Irving's whole thing is is like 
he'll, he'll say, I'm not going to write it down. It doesn't make my book if I don't have a primary source. Um, that, it works and it doesn't. I mean, definitely if, if you look at, through the sources book, it's very impressive. And what Irving does with the stuff is impressive. I do think it is kind of a cop out to suggest that because there isn't a written order by Hitler on, on certain things that he can't be tied to them. Um, because people think of that ahead of time. And I, th I think that was thought of ahead of time. I, it is a good book. It, it, it covers, it's, it's basically Hitler's eye view in his bunkers and his headquarters in the, in the planning rooms throughout World War II, and he gets into it in greater detail in the way he can bring things in and out of the headquarters. It, it's it's a really interesting and kind of a fun book to read in a way. It, it, it's a, it's a really interesting book. I think Irving is is, <laughs> I mean, but I th I think Irving is. Uh, this is a sympathetic book and it leans I don't think what he says is necessarily true with um, The Final Solution where it's these other SS guys to blame um, I don't buy it I think that's embarrassing and does and discredit the, the book but I, I think it's an interesting book a lot of people read this book so I, I got to bring it up, even though it's only a war biography, because people are going to be wondering if they should read it or not. I'd say yes, but I wouldn't start here. I, I wouldn't say this is, I wouldn't say it's, uh, it's necessarily what, like I would with Stolfi. I don't think this is like an advanced, uh, but I, I, and I don't necessarily think it's a starting point. I think if you're interested in reading these books at some point, if you read a bunch of these books, at some point, you'll probably want to read this book, maybe just to get in the conversation. And uh, I don't know. I, I like Irving as a writer, too. I'll say that. I actually like the way he writes stuff. And, um, okay, one more. One more book. And this is going to be the newest one. Actually, this is a two-volume. Bear, bear with me. Humor me. Okay. So, we have volume one. This is Volker Ulrich. And you may, the author is named Volker Ulrich. You're probably thinking, that sounds pretty... That sounds pretty badass. <laughs> no, this is... Uh, and it is. So, this is volume one. Is going up to World War Two. See, like I mentioned, a lot of books kind of do that. This is a newer book. This is by a German, and I think, I mean, I, I, I this is a German author, and he seems like a kind of a liberal author, but he does a great job. And here's volume two. Hold on. These look pretty good, too. Volume 2 is the war. So it's Hitler. So it's Volker Ulrich Hitler, The Ascent. 1889 to 1939. Volume 1. Hitler. Downfall. <laughs> der, der Untergang. 1939, 1945. So that's volume two. Okay. This these books are, are I'm they're really excellent. These are the newest ones. This just came out. I've talked to some people about the they say, oh, I, you know, I seen that come out. Is that worth reading? It is worth reading. I just um, I'll say 
because you, you you're probably thinking this is going to be the same old stuff and yeah it's pretty much going over <laughs> it's going over the same old stuff but in in greater detail as you might figure just in terms of let's see hold on compare this so this is the entirety of Ulrich's book and we'll just compare to we'll compare to John Tong so you could read this or or this and it's actually I mean that might be misleading just because or or that so it's a little bit more but these are going to be two so actually you might have to buy two uh, so also you might have to buy two books compared to buying one in a way i guess it's not that much bigger compared i no nah, i don't know i feel like these books are pretty big ulrich's book i could count the pages but i'll say ulrich's book seems the longer read and <laughs> it's two two volumes it's more detailed it gives you quite a bit i i loved it I thought that the detail, the extra, I mean, he gives so many different sources and with every, with like every famous uh, bit that you're probably familiar with, he, he's going to pull in like another perspective. Like he, he's always talking about how other people saw things where instead of just going through like, it's very anecdotal, so it, it's, it's just a lot of personal anecdotes from people who witness things, who witness Hitler, as well as just sources on Hitler himself. But he, I mean, he goes into like you know what foreigners, English people who met, like what they thought of, like just what he looked like and talked like, and I, uh, it, it's very deep, and just the effect that had on, on, on the nation at, at any point when Hitler takes power, when Hitler's been dead for like two weeks, what, what people are thinking. It's some of the best um, writing. I, I mean, in a, it's such a new book. I, I don't, it's hard to say if, you know, it, it, I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's like, um, it doesn't feel like it, because it, it's the same thing written over and over. And you figure another person will write another book at some point. It's maybe even better. It does. It's not like timeless literature, but it's worth. It's worth reading. I, I I'm gonna say this is actually my pick to read. This is it's the same stuff. It's it, it's just a a little more detailed. The writing's a little bit better. It to me it it feels like maybe the other bios it's like watching it's like watching a tv show from the 70s or then watching a, a show like in 4k or something it, it's kind of how it felt just in the writing style of it and how detailed it is there, there was a refreshing and uh, modern aspect to it and how much it's there's not a lot of like new stuff incorporated into it he didn't incorporate like new new perspectives on uh critical race theory or something he didn't or or anything like that it's it's not it, it, he simply just dug a little bit deeper and pulled out a little more sources to make this to make this like it's worth reading <laughs> to make this like it's maybe worth writing because why would you write say the same book that um the same book that Fast did. As far as it, it it having um themes and so forth too, I I I think it's it's a it's a little deeper and more complex and just and it goes into how it, it, like this is like a, almost a hallucinatory hallucinatory state for a nation and how Hitler was kind of a. He was like a different kind of a, a guy. Um, but it it really gets into um, just all the details in, in terms of like, like I, I think his, uh, 
what he writes about like final solution type stuff is convincing where he'll instead of just he's very good at piecing together multiple people's uh accounts and sources so this guy met with him and so and so he marked this in his calendar and so where you can kind of lose that the writing in this the sequencing is really good it's um nothing's like heavy handed or it, it but he he and he shows a lot of maybe the um the possibilities involved here in terms of what things could have looked like if they'd gone uh this way or that um i i'd say i'd say that this this might be the one that i recommend uh the most probably if you if you just want to read one one book on the subject and i i mean i recommend just because it's it's Hitler, and you're gonna hear about this guy for however long. You might as well just get get all the facts down. You might as well just know what the beer hall push is and what this is. And you might it, it it is kind of useful to figure out how how all this came about. And I mean, this is a heavily referenced thing. How how many how often do people reference Hitler? I every day all the time <laughs> so i'd say that if i i'd most probably heavily recommend i'd say if you've never read best book Colin, best book Colin's book or um or you know I, i'd say just check out this new one by ulrich which is two volumes and it's really good it's just it's the same stuff as all the others with just a little bit more. If that seems like a little bit too much for you, you don't need a little bit more because you've never even read one of these. I'd say get maybe get the Tallinn book, which is the one that everyone's always read. It's it's probably the most popular. It calls itself the definitive biography for good reason. But I personally, and I'm not I don't want to like say this is like a great it's like a great book that meant so much to me and changed my life. Like I, I read it not too long ago, and I really liked it. Like I, I found it enjoyable uh, to read, and I, I mean, there was a lot of eye-opening stuff where I've never really heard things said. You know, it's like bringing new things to light and delving into new things. Maybe. Uh, different drama with the churches and things like that or with different um personalities it goes into quite a bit this like i say i'm recommending <laughs> i'm recommending all these books but in particular i think ulrich's book is it's it, it's this isn't it's not like um a celebration of hitler <laughs> by any means it's uh it, it's it's just a scholarly account of all the stuff and it, it there's enough there's enough kind of um new just new stuff to make it, it it's just a really well put together book so you you could do you do well to to get that but i'd recommend all of them so this is this is kind of um the hitler bio um buyer's guide just because there's however many books on hitler and it comes up quite a bit where to even start <laughs> usually i guess you probably just you probably just pick the first book that comes along but now i mean there's so many who knows so hopefully that gives you a better idea on some of these books all right